Got great news. I figured out how to equip your hat. So now we've got our hat equipped that we got for being a Glade Club member or whatever it was called. I can't remember the top of my head. But anyways, back into it. Part two. Let's go. Okay, so now we have enough resources and we can build our tannery, which we can then use to make tan hides. Let's see where we should put this puppy down. Well, we definitely want it outside. Okay, we need cotton. I remember seeing a bunch of cotton down. Ooh. Down here, yeah, 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 it's a plains. Cotton's all in the plains, so we'll head down there. Oh my god, my, my water levels. Holy smokes, we need to go uh, take care of that real quick. Consumables, we will definitely be drinking this. Uh, we're hungry though, I guess we could cook meat. All right, so we can make a new world piece. Let's do, let's just do like a big old lake. Boom. However we get out there, I will never know. I think we eventually will get there, though. I think we'll eventually get there. All right, so it's down here. There we go. Finally got some cotton. Um, got some ganj. That's always important, too. Oh, the, the zombies are back. The hell do you want? Oh, sh sheesh. Get out of there, get out of there. Sweet dreams, zombie. Who's got some good loot? What did I get? Oh, I got fabric. Well, that was super easy. <laughs> a key inside of a chest. It's an interesting spot to put a key, but alas. All right, I think we've got, we've kind of like covered our bases here. So let's return to old Greg Brown. Grego. Hmm. My God, finally a night's sleep without Ruane or Rend. Here, you've earned a little something. It's a one and only Brown's Miracle Tonic. Patent pendant. That's probably actually just some kind of liquor or cocaine. You know how it is back in the Western days. Uh... Yeah, crash the wagon, classic. I'll keep a lookout, pal. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I did not expect the prologue to be that short. I knew that I thought it was like the first three to I thought it was said the first three to four hours, but uh, apparently, I think that was just that was literally only like an hour, maybe. Hour and a half. Oh god, don't die. Don't die. Keep swinging. Holy shit. Alright, so prologue's over, but we'll we'll um we'll play around with some of the more, you know, different mechanics before uh, we move on to a different game. That's just I guess the uh, the story. Which I was kinda surprised to see. But this story was that uh, you know, kind of short, but oh well. We need to craft some fabric, of course. We'll make ourselves a nice uh, piece of gear. Gear level one. Gear level one. Protection to health three. This is protection one. Okay. Does it even change? Huh. I don't think it... Maybe it did. Maybe it did change the look. Do we have any more options? Prairie, Plains Prairie, so we just need, what is this? Flint, What you can use. Yeah, we get that from, you know, cutting either from stone or we can craft it ourselves, so. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's rest and then we will, uh, <laughs> and then we'll build this prairie up. Oh, we, we, already got, we already have it built, so we're good. Prairie, let's throw it down. I guess we can put it beside like that. 
All right, so maybe if I craft rope, it'll give me more uh, items to... Fishing rod, enhanced pickaxe, and enhanced axe. Yo, let's go. Okay, this is actually where I got a feeling. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Equipment and... Oh, no, no, crafting. All right. Antler and rope. A fishing rod, okay. But how do I get an antler? I guess my only real options are... Oh, my... My, my plant, my plants. Only four, huh? Get our little weed farm going. I'm just robbing them blind right now. They have no idea. Alright, so I'm going to sell basically all my stuff to her. And buy some arrows. I guess I, could, I can buy scrap hearts. Alright, whatever. Um, miscellaneous... Sell, sell, sell. I need rope. Um, sell that though. These three. What is this? Can be sold at March. Okay. Well. So I have 123. Wait, buy for zero coins? Huh. Well, I'm gonna buy a lot then. That doesn't seem right, but I'm gonna buy them all. I think there's like a max amount that I can buy. All right, now I have 71 arrows. Make my day. All right, so I, I guess, I mean, can I like kill, like hunt deer and stuff? How does that work? Would it be the, over here or would I have to go like to the prairie or what? Actually, let's go, let's, let's craft a, um, a fishing pole. Why is this one glowing? Maybe it's... I don't know. Hmm. I want... We'll go craft a fishing pole and come back. I feel like that one might be like some kind of special thing going on. Or maybe I can just... Yeah, I can literally just craft it from right here. I don't know why they run all the way back. Alright, so it's not really so much a... There's no like mini game. You just stand here and fish until you, I guess, deplete the, the, the note, the, the, the resource. So I wonder what, when you level up your fishing, what does that do? Um, extra chance for a rare fish. Huh. Rifles. Let's get some rifle action going. Yeah, I still wonder why this one's glowing and then these the rest of these are not. Oh, new whoa, 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 what how did I get a new Did I find something? Oh, I found scrap parts. Huh. Okay, so I can build a trap. No, I can't. No, I can't. I was going to say this is how I get my antlers cuz I, you know, trap them and then I uh, you know, eat them. All right, we're going to go and see if we can find... I, I'm, I'm guessing that we can upgrade. Because I remember actually in the demo that there was the capability to... Um, a capability to craft a... Like a furnace. Let's get ready to... Oh! What the... These are the speedy ones, too. Do not want to get close. Oh no, don't shoot the tree! No! Okay, she's coming at me with fury and vengeance. Eat it! Beans. <laughs> Just some beans. Gotcha, rabbit. Can run, but you can't hide. So we got meat, and that's it. No, no skin. Or hide, if you will. Hmm, meat. Alright, I'm gonna work at upgrading my base, my home, so I can get to the next level. Maybe that mean maybe that makes it so that I can like unlock more stuff to build. Because I think honestly right now, I mean I need 
you know, obviously an antler, which I haven't seen any way to get an antler yet. I've only got one tooth. So I can't really do anything with that. Tannery wise, I can craft, you know, this stuff. Oh wait, so can I craft this? Okay, so I have to, I, it's, that's just a blueprint. I have to actually be at a uh, crafting station to do it. All right, so let's just do it anyways, just cause I, just cause I can. Make a rope and then we'll make some fabric and then we'll take a quick little nap because it's dark as hell. Yeah, it didn't unlock anything new for us. So yeah, furnace, I'm guessing that we don't have access to a furnace yet. Anvil, we don't have an anvil either. Definitely not a sawmill, none of that. So we need to, let's just go to the workbench and see what we can do. Mm. Yes, so let's just craft, well, let's craft the storage chest, hell. Oh. Let's do it, let's do it. And then we'll probably, honestly, let's just craft both of these. Dresser and then a big boy dresser. And we'll throw these down. There we go. Interesting, okay. Open storage. Nice, okay, well we can store stuff. Not that that matters right now. Um, I'll put this down there. All right, so I, I think I come here, yeah, yeah, I come here to check my shelter perks. Increase your workbench level and shelter to unlock more perks. Got it, okay. Well, maybe I can try building more? I don't really know. I'll do that. Now, did that increase our level? Yes, it did a little bit, actually. We're actually close to leveling up. I keep forgetting that I have to uh, cook food. I actually, I have a bunch of fish. New recipe. Oh, a cooked meal. Let's not do that. Cook it, cook it, baby, let's go. Meat. Ew. He's eating bones, huh? Oh, this is actually really good. Hell yeah. All right, well, let's eat some food then. So I guess you can just eat, oh, you have to gut the fish. Oh. Fish meat and fish bones, huh? So we got plenty now of food, but I don't know what I want to use these, these bones for. Where is it? Here we are. All right, so put one there. One there. I kind of want to do like this. Well, this actually looks pretty nice. There. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right, so a new perk. Let's see what our new perk will be. Or maybe maybe we have to level up our, our um, workbench, which would kind of suck. Oh, here we go. Wood used for bonfires is more dry and flames burn hotter, restoring fatigue while near bonfires. Huh. Better equipment. Cook meals provide 20 more replenishment. Fire burns for 30% longer. This is probably This is probably actually the better of the two. Or the three, I guess. Wood use for bonfires, but do do I have even have access to build a bonfire? Like that's just a campfire. I don't think I even have a bonfire yet. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go with the better cooking. Boom. Higher workbench level required. Got it. So I can't even get to shelter three yet. I need a higher workbench level. Okay. We'll put the old table over here. Just just so whenever we're um you know making our our weed operation, we can uh, have somewhere to, to work on it. 
with a wee little chair right I'll do it this way right there and then we'll corner this out all right and now we can actually confirm whether or not we have to upgrade our workbench to get to the next series of perks yep we definitely have to because we're maxed out well, I think that's kind of it, honestly. Um, this this video was probably a little bit shorter. That's just because we kind of we already did, I I didn't expect to finish the content. Kind of um, what's in the prologue this quickly. Overall, though, I've been super impressed with the game. I I think the whole world building mechanic system is just is freaking awesome. So I think that's kind of like the coolest component of the entire game. Um, the the building is is kind of you know generic, um, which is not a bad thing. It's just you know there's nothing like too crazy about it. Um, the combat, I would, I think the combat, hopefully the combat gets a little bit more worked on because to me the combat just feels very stale. Um, there's nothing really special about it. It's not, it kind of isn't fluid, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, I think the game's great. I had a great time playing the prologue and I look forward to, you know, seeing the, uh, the game fully released. I think it's supposed to be this year too. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out.